I held off on making this video because honestly, I didn't know what to think. Like, so Renfield Spooky Ball, there's a lot of people that say it is better in the original Peggle Deluxe. So we know that Warren has the extra hat in Night. Tula hits two oranges. Now, people are in the belief that Renfield Spooky Ball is better in Deluxe. I have two confirmations for this. So. There was a Peggle Discord where some people talked about it. There was also a Peggle Speedrun I was watching where they did talk about that they felt like Redfield Spooky Ball was much better in Deluxe. Now, me personally, I didn't make this video for a while because I think Redfield Spooky Ball sucks in both games. So, I don't know. Like, the levels in Deluxe are a little better for Spooky Ball opposed to Peggle Knights, which has, like, a lot of his levels aren't that great for Spooky Ball, like, even a level like C6 or something. Like, a lot of his levels just don't really make sense for his ability in that game. But the idea of Renfield's ability in Deluxe is that when his ball drops from the bottom in Deluxe, People have, I don't know if it's a superstition, some people say it's coded into the game, but I'm called superstition, I could be wrong. Some people say that his ability targets certain pegs, it'll target oranges or target purples or hit certain spots or hit certain clusters of pegs. I can't get an actual confirmation on what is so different about it, but basically the idea is that once the spooky ball drops from the bottom and, and Peggle Deluxe, is that it will target a certain area opposed to Peggle Knights where if the ball drops straight down, people say it will just drop straight down. It's more prone to get stuck in walls or stuck in the corners or certain areas. So that's why I'm showing you the Spooky Ball on Knights and I'm showing you the Spooky Ball on Deluxe, both on a PC version, back to back, back to back, to see if you guys can tell me the difference or someone in the comments can tell me what I'm missing or what I'm wrong about because I don't see a difference between them. Renfield Spooky Ball drops on the bottom and if it was going right, it always goes right for me. If it was dropping straight down, it goes straight down. If it was going left, it goes left. Like, I don't... I don't really see a difference. Like, occasionally you'll have the spooky ball go at like a slight angle, but I mean, that happens at nights too. Like, I don't know. I just don't see much of a difference. Like, like I have to be missing something. Maybe I'll go back through the footage and see something. But yeah, I, I'm showing both clips back to back. I don't really see a big difference. Like, I will say the Spooky Ball overall is worse in Knights, but not because of the actual ability. It's more so the maps being a little more difficult. And the maps are more brick based before they had a lot more peg levels, but there's a lot more bricks. And bricks aren't really great for Spooky Ball because Spooky Ball, you want a map like Pegoland or Birdie's Crib 2111 where they can, like, yeah, you want a map like a scenic where it's just a bunch of pegs and Spooky Ball can just drop and hit them. You don't want a bunch of bricks because then Spooky Ball will bounce off of them and, yeah, you probably don't want to use Spooky Ball for that. But I don't see much of a difference. So I'm getting to that point in the video where I'm kind of just repeating myself babbling on so I don't really think there's much of a reason to say much more except this so yeah